Hey collective, how are you guys? I wanted to get into your energy tonight. I know that we are currently going through this a full moon with the eclipse in Taurus energy. So I wanted to see what can you guys expect after this full moon from my collective. We're going to see what is the overall energy right now. What are you guys dealing with? What are you potentially blocking in this full moon? And what can you expect as the outcome? Universe, Archangels, Spirit, Angel Guides, and Guardians, please help me give my collective clear and concise messages. What is their current energy in this full moon for my collective? Universe, Archangels, Spirit, Angel Guides, and Guardians. I see the Five of Swords here, guys. So there is definitely, for a lot of you guys that this reading is going to resonate for, you guys will start seeing truth and clarity from those people around you. So basically what's going to be going on here is that you're going to see who is going to be able to stick around and who is going to have to be cut out. You're also going to find out some details about people that have been doing things behind your back. There's messages that are coming in. For some of you guys, I hate to tell you, you may even find out that your person has been cheating on you or cheated on you or went towards a third party, whatever it is, but you will find out that deceitful energy in this full moon. Because since you guys are asking to remove any and all blockages, you're going to see the truth at the end of the day. Universe, Archangels, Spirit, Angel Guides, and Guardians, what is the overall energy here for my collective, please? You got this Queen of Pentacles energy. It is in the reverse, though. Financial independence. It's asking you to have some self-care, for some of you guys, you may have some kind of conflict at work that 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 actually could be the Five of Swords. That's where you're finding the betrayal. But the point of the matter is that you're going to find out from those people that have been talking crap behind your back, you're going to find out who it is and what, what are they saying, okay? It's like things are going to be brought to the light for you. There's somebody here with the King of Wands energy in the reverse, Six of Wands and the Page of Wands. All right, guys, I don't know why all your cards are coming out in the reverse and they're not all turned upside down either. Um, but there is your some of you guys are going to find out that you've been put in a third party situation and this has been going on for quite a bit. Um, somebody here is also starting to lose respect for someone in this connection. Um, whether it's you or it's whomever you're dealing with, you could very well be dealing with the fire sign here because I do see a lot of these um, these wands in the reverse. And now, guys, for some of you guys, you have not gotten any communication from this person and you've been wondering if they're dealing with somebody else and if they're being victorious in another connection. If they are dealing with somebody else, that connection is not victorious, okay? This person is not having the time of their life. They're not living their best life. With the Hermit here, I feel that you're going to get to this point where you're going to find some type of accomplishment, fulfillment. There's going to be a celebration of life. There's new arrivals, people coming back, spiritual energies. Like Things are going to start being more clear for you with this hangman energy here. You might have let something or someone go, but the reason why this situation or this person was literally guided out of your life was because there was something new that's coming in. There's new perspective. There's new acceptance. There's change. It's you releasing and preparing yourself to achieve stability and success. So again, in this full moon collective, I feel that a lot of you guys are going to see a lot of people's true colors and you're going to see how these people really play a game uh, uh, like a role in your life you're going to be making big decisions whether or not you want to start removing these people out of your life for some of you guys these people already started walking out and you're starting to see the clarity as to why they did it in this full moon universe archangels spirit angel guides and guardians what happened here in the recent past for my collective please what's occurred in the recent past for my collective i have the queen of cups energy in the reverse with the world in the reverse. So collective, again, I shuffled these cards. They're starting to come out in the reverse. I got the King of Cups in the reverse as well. So something had to come to an end in the recent past. Somebody cut a connection out, okay? 
this could have been a very painful cycle for you, for that person. But it all happened because a cycle needed to come to a completion, okay? Something needed to come to an end in order to ultimately allow this passion and new beginning for somebody to come back into the connection and recommit. You see, at times when we're in a relationship for quite a bit of time, we tend to kind of get um, complacent, used to the person, used to the bullshit, used to the drama. And you guys could have already been having this real bad habit of constantly arguing before you went to bed or constantly going back and forth, bickering for unnecessary things. It started bringing in a lot of negative energy towards you, towards your person, towards your relationships in general. And I feel that universe just got tired of it. I'm tired of hearing you yell collective. I'm tired of hearing your, your person yell. Let me cut you guys off for a bit. Y'all need to figure yourselves out before we can come back to this connection. And wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Here we go. Nine of Cups energy. Okay. Because you, I feel that you've both decided to give up on this connection. You both might have even attempted to collaborate with other people. And you came to terms and realization that that is not for you. You and this person are about to bring in some wish fulfillment to the connection. Okay, there is an energy here of y'all coming back towards each other and attempting to recommit to this relationship, bringing in true wish fulfillment and really giving this connection the opportunity it deserves. Universe, Archangel, Spirit, Angel, Guides, and Guardians, what is this current energy here with the Ace of Wands, the King of Wands collective? You might be dealing with the fire sign, but this fire sign is getting ready to come back towards you and bring you in this Nine of Cups energy. After a transformational period here where this person could have even gone through some type of sudden death in the family, but something forced this person to have to change, to leave behind their old ways of toxicity, of anger, resentment. This person had to look at things very different because for a while there, they walked a very imbalanced path. They couldn't find peace and harmony in their life and they needed to either cut you off or you needed to cut them off. For some of you guys, like I said, there could have very well been third parties in this situation, but I really don't even see third parties. I got to be very honest with you. I feel like this was more of a mental confliction than anything else. Universe, Archangels, Spirit, Angel, Guides, and Guardians. What is this whole total transformation here? Four of Cups energy. Somebody suddenly wakes up and, be, and they're thinking to herself, I'm not going to miss this opportunity with my collective. I need to change my ways. I need to change my, my, my thoughts. I need to get myself in a realigned energy, get stable so I can get back to my connection. Universe, Archangels, Spirit, Angel. <laughs> wow. Look at what came out. The Three of Cups. This person suddenly has this, this, this wake up call. One day they're in this energy. Well, that's it. I have to walk away from the collective. I can't do nothing for them till the next day. Fuck that. I am not missing a, an opportunity with this person. I want reunion and reconciliation. I am ready to change my crazy ways. I am ready to bring in wish fulfillment and have this passion and new beginning. It's like this person wakes up and they recommit to the connection. Universe, archangels, spirit, angel guides and guardians. What is this three of cups and the current energy here? The two of cups energy. It's soulmates coming back together into union. Okay. Collected for a while, you probably felt, you kept on telling yourself this isn't over because the world is in the reverse. This person needs space. I need space. Whatever it is. But you were right. You guys decided to stop talking to each other for a bit because there was a lot of toxic energy. There could have been a lot of fighting. There could have been a lot of imbalanced energy. But here comes this person once again, bringing in truth and clarity, rushing in and starting the communication. You, again, I feel that either you're a fire sign or you're dealing with the fire sign. But guys, please prepare yourselves because somebody's about to get ready to reach out to you. And this isn't going to be one of those, uh, hey, how are you doing? How's your day going? It's going to be one of those, uh, like, uh, we need to talk. We need to bring clarity. We need to fix our connection. Universe, Archangels, Spirit, Angel, Guides, and Guardians. And I feel that for a lot of you guys that this reading is resonating for, you're going to see this energy all happen shortly after the full moon. Um, remember, Friday is 11-11. So that's definitely a time where a wish fulfillment can be coming in. And Fridays are known to be days of love. So if when anybody casts a spell or ritual, if you want to do something in regards to love, and you get lucky that the full moon energy falls on those days, or a new moon, it's the best time to cast a spell. But you you can basically do it when you want it, to be honest. Universe, Archangels, Spirit, Angel, Guides, and Guardians. What is the outcome here for my collective and the person that is on their mind? Ten of Pentacles. 
you will achieve stability. Spirit just said in due time. Be patient with this person. Their plan is to come back towards you. But this is the thing collective. This person is not going to show up empty handed. They're not going to come half ass into the connection. When they come back is because they know that they're ready. That they've moved past their blockages. They've moved past their insecurities. And they're ready to offer an apology. To offer emotional wish fulfillment. To come towards you. And be this king of pentacles that you so desire and require. Universe, Archangel, Spirit, Angel, Guides, and Guardians. Spirit just said, in this time of separation, use this time for yourself to clear your energy, to get yourself back into a high vibrational energy. If you've been manifesting in this full moon, you're definitely going to need some rest and rejuvenation. When this person comes back towards you, they're bringing in justice, okay? They're bringing in the proper opportunities for this relationship. Somebody here wants victory with you, and they only see it with you. Give this person the opportunity to regain their stability. They're not gone forever. They will be back. They just needed some space to get their energies right. They needed some space to get themselves in a committed energy. Universe, Archangels, Spirit, Angel Guides, and Guardians. What advice do we have here for my collective, please? There's a lot of advice trying to come out. Six of Cups. Wow. This, this tried to come out. There's a reunion and a reconciliation expected to happen in this connection. Put your guard down. Allow universe to do what universe has to do. Understand that right now your person may not be coming towards you to offer you this page of pentacles in the reverse. But he or she is going to want to have this conversation with you with the king of swords energy here. Because they want to bring truth and they want to bring clarity to this situation. You got the hangman once again. There is a new perspective that's being brought to this situation. This person is working heavily on his or her energy. They're removing any and all blockages so they may come towards you and give this connection the beautiful opportunity that it truly, truly deserves. Some words of encouragement here, universe. Some words of encouragement for my collective, please. What would the person like to tell them at the moment? Addiction. An addiction is affecting this relationship. So again, this person could have been a heavy drinker. They could have been um, loud at the mouth. I mean, foul at the mouth. Um, they could have been a little bit controlling and toxic. Whatever it was, this person is coming back to ask you for forgiveness. To forgive them for their past behaviors. To forgive them for walking away for you, from you without any explanation. To forgive them for not giving you the proper chance or the proper opportunity or clarity that you desired. This person knows that they did something wrong and they affected this relationship, but they're ready to come in and apologize for that. You got falling apart. This person needed to walk away because he or she was falling apart. Okay, They just needed some time to mend that broken energy. A final message here from my collective universe. Past life. So, guys, this is somebody that is coming back from your past. This is definitely your ex coming back towards you. I feel that this person is also looking at a lot of pictures of, of you and them when you guys were together. Or just looking at pictures of you in general. This person is also keeping an eye on you. I'm not going to lie. I keep on getting this overall energy because they're afraid that you may end up entertaining a third party. So this person is doing everything that he or she can do to remove any and all toxic energy so they can get back to this connection and really commit to it like they should. So guys, I hope and pray that this gave you some clarity. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Click that notification bell. And if you're interested in a personal reading, the info is in the description box below. I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye.